Let's go get this thing. <clears throat> Bro. Oh, watch out for the stand here. Oh, look at that. I haven't used it in like 15 years or probably 20 years. That's the other thing. I used to haul this around to gigs and just set it on top of my amp. I mean, I didn't even have a fucking case for this thing for god dang years. If I can figure out the echo time. Ableton doesn't tell me the milliseconds. I gotta figure it out by ear. Now we're going to take it out of, instead of going straight into the rig, we're going to actually run it through my 1073 clone. So, so the whole time I was trying to figure out the, the echo timing and I'm down here twisting and years ago, because I always try to trick myself into doing the right thing and not screwing up and all that. So this was probably like in 83 or 84, I actually wrote on a piece of paper. That's the formula to figure out the dang tempo. And it was right in front of my face. <laughs> Okay, so I actually tried the formula on here. It took me a minute to figure out what it, how it worked. So anyway, what the formula is, you go um, 60 divided by the tempo, which is 78, equals, uh, well, it's a long number, but the first three are 769. But that's like for a long delay, so I'll go divided by 2. That is 384 milliseconds. I divide it by 2 again because I want a short delay, and it's 192. And the number I picked, ended up with just by ear, is 194. But the thing is, whenever I do a delay with a computer and I just haven't picked a time, I always make it late, like one or two milliseconds. Ha-ha!